Hey, Samir, how are you? Hey, doing good, Tari. I was looking at the agenda. I think I wanted to discuss the roadmap items and see if there are any queries on, I think last time when I presented that, I realized it's not on the agenda. Uh, oh. Sure, I actually, I also did not uh, update the agenda, but I have uh, the topic about the review of the notary project. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's uh, see if uh, others join uh, before we go into the details yeah. there. Yeah, definitely. Let me add the agenda um, on that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let me copy and paste December 19th one. I was thinking we had one for today as well, December 15th. I think Prithish will not join. This is the one where we discuss mainly about project and not about the, uh, the project. Yeah aspect of it mm -hmm. yeah uh, I think last time we ran out of time and then I wanted to also cover Uh, I think this question came up for me. He was asking me something, so I think I'll just cover it quickly. It should not take more than a couple of minutes to cover that. Uh, let's see if anybody else. Is are you there. sharing or you're just editing the HackMD document? I just updated the HackMD document, but I will, okay. I will share as well. So while, while we waiting for the other folks, so Samir, how, how long you've been kind of on the project? Uh, you know that I joined just a couple of weeks ago and very <laughs> new, uh, but uh, uh, wanted to maybe understand a little bit more of the history from your point of view while we are. No, I think yeah, while we are waiting, I think I've been with the project, I think I started sometime in March, April of, uh -huh. Of 2021, last year. Oh, so you've been almost two years. Okay, got it. No, year no, almost. Yeah, on, yeah, almost, almost two years. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, my role as the uh, and my current role at my at my day job as the as a product manager, I was trying to bring in the voice of the customer here as to mm -hmm. what customers would like to see from it and how we can give them a what I will call as minimum lovable product or <laughs> something mm -hmm. that uh, people can start using while we um, add more capabilities over time. So I was initially involved with the roadmap planning as to what all uh, are the milestones to think about. So you see that roadmap repo was some of um, the stuff I worked on in trying to organize the thoughts uh, we had among different maintainers, among different contributors, and and then looking at all the use cases that we brought in from uh, uh, from uh, the past discussions, mm -hmm. so to how to break it into chunks, and that's where the idea about the roadmap repo came from to 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 organize based on the roadmap repo, and to deliver using the other repos where we do the spec, where we do the where we do the clients. Uh, initially, I think on the client we started with. Uh, just two repos on the clients, uh, the notation repo, maybe it was not even just, maybe just one repo, one repo for spec, one repo for client. And then we, of course, learned as we went along, we made it three repos, one on the Go Core, or sorry, notation Go Core and notation Go, and then of course the notation repo. Mm -hmm. The specs were very, uh, were very, very uh, iterative. Uh, and at times, we were working um, hand in hand with the spec and implementation going hand in hand. So that was a good experience to bring in ideas, check them out and then influence the spec and vice versa. So that was very mm -hmm. good, very good way to accelerate uh, what the community was contributing. And uh, yeah, I think as, as more people joined, we added, um, we added the two meetings we have, right? One in 
Monday evening and one this one so that we can get audiences from all over the world to participate. That was also a good um, uh, mechanism, in my opinion, to make sure everybody can uh, join in their daytime hours if, if possible. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. no, I, uh, that, so that's the history with the project that I have. Um, let me check if Vani is joining or not, or maybe she's running into a delay. I saw very quickly Pritesh joining, but he disappeared. And also Victor Lu. I don't know who Victor Lu is, but he also disappeared. Uh, yeah, I think Pritesh. Uh, uh, yeah, Pritesh has joined. Uh, yeah, we can ask Pritesh. But typically on these calls, it's the project management aspect of it. And yep. Pritesh, mm -hmm. Pritesh and Shiva and we and they i think they they definitely have a lot more items to discuss during the monday call where we focus on the implementation aspects more that's uh -huh. not we can't discuss them today if if needed uh yeah let me uh check with vani if she's in the office and uh, she'll be joining today or not let me hang on she actually told me that she will join today uh, oh. i chatted with her in slack uh, last night uh, okay but, yeah so if you can ping her directly and ask, that's also okay. Yeah, let me, yeah. Everybody is like, this This is no longer the days where the person is sitting next to you. Right? Everybody is so remote. But yes, I am pinging her on Slack now. Yeah, I think like, uh, I don't know, are you guys in next week? Uh, should we keep the call or not? I am in, so I'm fine actually getting on the call. I'm out the week after between like Christmas and, and New Year. Yeah. Uh, so I won't be able to join, but next week I'm okay to keep this call. And so we have like things that we can discuss as the roadmap and um, uh, kind of, uh, that that issue and also we chatted with uh, Vani about the governance uh, and uh, I've been looking at like all the documents how we can uh, we were discussing kind of restricting the access to the main uh, branch and how do we enforce at least several approvals on the PR so all these things how we can put them as really security controls around the, the repositories um, yeah makes sense makes sense uh yeah no i think she just being back she had uh carry over yeah let her join and then we can go into it let me share my screen at least cover the roadmap part initially uh let me share my screen and maybe just one question uh, before we start kind of like what I've seen with other uh open source projects is like there is one kind of person who is chairing the project and taking care of that. So I'm still trying to figure out for, for notary, who is that person? Is that you? Is it Vani? Is it, um, I don't know, Finland, yeah. uh, and that kind of brings back to the governance, like how do we uh, <laughs> govern the project, right? <laughs> No, no, definitely. I think that's 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 something we can talk about. I think collectively we have been doing it together. I I don't mm -hmm. think so. We so if you look at our uh, at our from a project management perspective, I took the pen initially with Steve and me sharing. Uh, Steve as the maintainer and me as the original, as one of the uh, project managers originally. But then we added David as a project manager when he came in, and of course he had so many good ideas as to how to uh, you know use GitHub to organize things better than what I was doing. So yeah, I think we definitely have increased uh, visibility and more men and more project maintainers, if you will, to help with that process. Mm -hmm. I uh, don't have a strong opinion if it should be one person or we just keep doing it like the group we have been doing. I personally like the group because some 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 days or weeks I'm busy, so if somebody else is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. getting responsibility. So I think I personally like the group group concept, but definitely happy to hear how other open source projects work on it, and we can definitely uh, bring some other ideas. But just having to say say David joined and he brought it up, and when Yi and Feman joined, they brought some great ideas. So I think we have just got better and better with uh, more contributors. And um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, 
So Vani is here. Let me just quickly cover on the um, roadmap item because um, I uh, wanted to make sure we, when we were talking about it last week, uh, that you had you had, you had you had pinged me on where are the release notes, and I had replied on the note review to channel where where they are. So I thought let mm -hmm. me just a minute to just go over how we have been doing business, and if we need to improve it, we can improve it. So, so the way we thought about, as I was describing earlier on the call, we said, hey, let's, there were so many good ideas coming out when we started meeting about it in earnest last year, early last year. So the idea was how can we break it into a deliverable model? And that's where the idea about uh, creating a publicly visible roadmap came, came along and then organizing um, things in different releases. And at that time, we, we came up with three releases, alpha one, two, and three and then leading up to the RC1 release. But then along the way, as you have seen, we added the alpha four, we added the beta one as well, because as we learned new things, we added two more releases. But the original plan was alpha one, two, and three with some stated goals, which we have mainly held true. Uh, and then of course the RC1 as our first, with our first release candidate from it. Uh, since then we have added the RC2 to bring back some community feedback, uh, which you're aware about the OCI. Now, mm -hmm. uh, now, originally we were tracking all the projects or all the repos separately with a separate uh, um, uh, GitHub project uh, mechanism. And I'm calling it a mechanism because <laughs> Notary project and GitHub project are, they both use the word keyword project in them, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It as a mechanism in GitHub. So this is a, this is the new project uh, setup of GitHub. Originally, if you go back to an- a Yeah, I'm familiar with uh, how GitHub manages projects, yeah. Yeah, and it was hard. So originally what we started doing or what I started doing was managing a top level project and also managing an individual project in each repo. And that was probably called classic at that time. Now they call it yeah. classic. But I think since then we have uh, realized that, hey, we have a better mechanism instead of tracking everything in each repo, what if we just go to the top level? And in the top level, we deprecated the original top level project. So if you go in here, uh, you will see that uh, among the open project, if you don't look at the open, you search for all projects, you will probably see more projects. Uh, well, yeah, I think it's project classic, yeah. So we deprecated, we we had tried multiple kinds of uh, ways to organize things like across different mm -hmm. types over the years, but we abandoned them. And then once uh, Yi and Feeman and David's ideas were, we were able to concretize it. We moved back to just a single or the new project mechanism of GitHub, and we brought everything under one umbrella. This I think was a very good improvement to our uh, process. It brought a lot more transparency instead of people looking at individual projects yep. in each repo. Now we can do it here. So that was a great thing. However, we continued with the uh, with the roadmap repo still separately, because this is where I believe we had high level agreement that this is how we're going to divide work uh, across different milestones, and we don't make very many changes in the roadmap repo uh, without a lot of uh, consensus and dialogue and uh, alignment. So, mm -hmm. so that's why uh, I wanted to go back to the purpose of the roadmap repo. Why are we still maintaining a roadmap repo separately? Uh, even though you can come in here to the notary planning project, and now you can even um, search it by repo, right? So if I go here, uh, come on, how do I filter? Yeah, repo roadmap. Yeah, so now this is also a good view. So mm -hmm. of the opinion that at some point we can deprecate the roadmap repo and just manage the project individually among the act, the actual repos where the work is getting done. And and but this was the classic product manager in me saying, hey, we should agree on the roadmap and let the work be done by the implementers. But at one point, uh, if we if we decide to reduce the uh, process overhead. We can just get 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 rid of the roadmap repo as well. But for right mm -hmm. now, we have the roadmap repo. So if you go back to the roadmap repo, 
serves a good purpose, at least this view of the roadmap repo. I to me it serves a good to me it serves a good good purpose to look at what we have done, and that's why you have the done column, what we have planned in RC2, and what's in the backlog that we can bring in to a different release. Mm -hmm. uh, on this call, I wanted to spend some time and see which one of these items are in progress and then move them to the in progress column and also see if any items in the backlog need to be brought in into RC2 or we are prepared to think about some, some other release. So that was the thing I wanted to spend on this call about the roadmap because I noticed a question from Yi uh, came up saying, hey, this looks like a duplicate. You have this in the roadmap and you also have it in the notation. They are exactly the same thing. So I took like he's saying, yep, they are the same thing, but there's a purpose. The roadmap is the product management view, and then the um, uh, and then the uh, individual item in notation repo or or the notary project spec repo or the notation go repo is the actual implementation work to bring that vision to implementation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that's the context. Uh, I think I've covered 95% of what I wanted to cover. The only thing I was hoping you or Vani can help me uh, as, as, as people who are, who are more closer to the implementation saying, which one of these items are now in progress and I can move them to the in progress column. That is the one thing I wanted to achieve on this call. Um, yes, I need actually, because I'm not uh, very granularly managing that. Okay. Uh, but I can actually ask uh, Feynman and E who are granularly managing that with the team because they are closer to the implementation team. Our implementation team is in China and okay. Feynman and E are there. So uh, I'll make a note for them to actually take a look at that and eventually uh, you're okay if they themselves move it from the to-do to the uh, in-progress. Right? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And the way I think about this is this is the high-level epic. If I were to use a classic product management jargon that you have an epic under the epic, you have multiple stories or multiple mm -hmm. features. So that's the way I think about these roadmap items. Here, you may have multiple things which will get done as part of this one epic or this roadmap item. Sometimes it is one-to-one, -one, but many a times it will be one-to-many where one roadmap item will have multiple uh, individual yeah. things across it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so I, I hear you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is the transparency and the uh, governance we have been following saying roadmaps will be discussed uh, a lot more uh, and we will, you know, challenge each other on saying, hey, is this the right priority? Is this the right timeline for for something? And once we make that, then individual work done by implementers, we can come back once we are about to release something, see how close we are to our vision. So that was the, mm -hmm. that was the thing I wanted to cover. I've covered that. With that, I can cede the floor. Anybody else has any other topic to cover? We can, we can do that. I think- Yeah, uh, uh, go ahead, Vani. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Um, um, what he is trying to do as of now, Samir, is, is focused on RC2. Okay. We had an RC2 where we had probably RC2, post RC2, and RC2. And uh, that's the board. That's the. Uh, oh, that's, oh, that's where you're saying we can go to notary planning here and look at all the items. Correct. Correct. Yeah. yeah. This is where he is uh, cleaning up right now uh, okay. because we have too many of this in RC2. Yep. So he wants uh, us to look into it as well uh, because this RC2 is not the RC2. You have to go to the next step, which is the RC2 roadmap. The oh, RC2 roadmap, okay. Yeah. This is what we are trying to focus and see, okay, is this the priority for RC2 from the customer perspective? Because yeah. we have so question yeah. to understand, like, are those items the same items as you were showing previously, yeah. Samir, in the, the roadmap? Okay. Yes. So because RC2. You, yeah. Sorry to jump in because what we are pulling here is just a view of that repo. Because yep. if you're here, that's mm -hmm. just, that, that's the repo name. And we are mm -hmm. saying marked with the RC2 milestone. And you see the same view here, seven items yes. here, things in the roadmap repo marked with the milestone RC2. And those are the to do only, right? Right. Those are the to do. Now, let me see if there is anything else that has been marked with RC2. Uh, I don't see anything else marked with R. Actually, I can check here. I think we went through that last time. Yeah. 
We did milestone RC2. Yeah, there are only seven items here. Let's see, just let's do a spot check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, wait a minute. There are nine items here, but only five, seven showing up there. Why is that? That's something yeah. to investigate. Everything is in roadmap repo. Oh, it's in the status to do in progress. Oh, it's in progress. I didn't see in progress in the other one. Uh, yeah, some maybe some automation is broken here, or maybe this is still manual. Why is this? If I say milestone RC2, why is it? Okay, I'll go back and investigate. Why is that not showing up here? Maybe this is a reason for us to duplicate this view and just use this view. I think because, yeah, maybe add the items to that view. How do you add items to that view? Uh, go back there. Yeah. The plus sign at the top, like if, uh, near to do, there's a plus sign. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to manually add the items. No, no, uh, I don't think it's from there. Uh, as far as I remember, and actually I haven't used a lot one, but. Uh, add a card? Add can card? you, yeah. Uh, maybe remove the filter. And yeah. They used to in the traditional, in the classic project, they used to show up on the right and you can just drag and drop them. Uh, I don't know how you do that in the new project view. Yeah. yeah. But this, think... is, uh, this is much broader uh, view compared to the planning view. No, no, no. One, like if you look at the filter we have set in this filter, mm -hmm saying anything from the notary project roadmap repo mm -hmm. with milestone tag as RC2. <laughs> that is your that is the filter. So right. this should match with here. This should match here, but it is not. So but that's fine. We can take an offline view. Okay. Like like I was saying, I really like this one one pane of glass to go back and mm -hmm. we can different views. We can just work from here. So Vani, going back to what you were saying is that's fine. You and ye are looking at our next level of details on these items to see which one of these items relate to individual items in different repos and figuring out right priority. And then we can mark them in progress here itself versus, okay. versus marking them in progress here. We can deprecate this view if we need to. That's fine. I'm, okay. I'm not married to that. So yeah, we can do that. Sure. Okay, sounds that good. Sounds good to me. I think we covered a and lot. Vani, you are saying that we need to go and clean up the uh, the other tab, which is RC2 only. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Because okay. if you see here, not all of this is going to RC2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And I think this is a good practice we have been following by bringing up the view and not slowing down the implementers working on, you know, not everything is top down. So it's, so it is a lot of Everything is very, very collective in this uh, project, which I which I like. Um, okay, uh, I think I'm done with my items. Uh, Wani, is there anything else we need to discuss or we can? Uh, not really. And I have a hard stop today at 12.30. Sorry about that. Okay. So uh, I wanna just uh, discuss the uh, issue that was brought with uh, CNCF um, and uh, we don't have the maintainers on the call. Uh, and I know that there is, uh, Samir, I think you are on the email thread that actually is going on between the, uh, <laughs> some of us and some of the yeah. maintainers. So Justin Cormack is there, a few other yeah. folks from AWS, few other folks from, from Microsoft and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I think kind of the, the overall consensus is uh, to maybe acknowledge uh, this uh, from one of us. Um, and- sorry, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I will sorry to like to jump in. I think, I'm, uh, I think we, uh, we should uh, have the maintainers make that decision there. I don't have a strong uh, assessment of my own as to, um, I think I would like to uh, have the maintainers uh, make, make the decision there. I would like to us to focus on, on just the project management aspect and what we can do there. Let the maintainers jump in uh, and respond to any concern brought by CNCF. Uh, that's 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 my view. Vani, your thoughts? Yeah, I would agree that 
uh, because of uh, we do not have much context context on that as well. So it's uh, no, I I don't uh, think we should respond I, as as you're saying. We don't have enough context. Uh, the only thing is just to acknowledge the issue and that uh, uh, we are uh, kind of the maintainers will be responding to that. But some of the maintainers are on vacation, so it's kind of unfortunate time. And uh, I think it's in in uh, value for the project just to say yes. Uh, thank you for filing that issue. Uh, we are notifying the maintainers, uh, and however, due to the holidays, they will not be able to respond in the next two weeks. So that is the only thing that uh, uh, kind of we are contemplating to respond. And I can go and do that. However, I'm kind of the very new person on the project, right? It will have more value if somebody who's been longer on the project just replies and says, Yes, uh, thank you for <sighs> the issues. We are one of the contributors and uh, we notified the maintainers, but they are not available for the next two weeks. And uh, we would like to address this after the holidays. If you guys are okay, one of you posting this, uh, that is the only kind of ask, just because uh, we are running like uh, into the risk and keep in mind that like, no, I Amir, you've been, no, yeah, yeah go ahead. what you're saying, Atari, sorry, uh, I think we, that I even, I have a hard stop at 9.30, so yeah, I think I see what you're saying is, let us notify, I think we have notified the maintainers, if I'm not mistaken, Mani has notified yes, I have the, notified. the maintainers, we can follow with them on, and then uh, let them know about your request, but I think at this point, me and Vani just don't have the enough context uh, on, on the request to to say anything on this call. Uh, but yeah, I think Vani has taken a good step here already and notified the maintainers. Let them have a say at this is all I can say on this call. So uh, just to kind of tell you uh, our position, uh, which I discussed internally with uh, uh, folks is, so if we don't hear from the maintainers on the issue, maybe in the next uh, couple of hours before the end of the day, then I will just go and write a very short message, uh, what I just said, like, thank you. I am one of the new contributors. Uh, we're looking at that and the maintainers will reply after the holidays. If that's like, unless you have any objections to, to that posting, me posting that message, uh, I think it will have more value from somebody else who is on the project for longer than me, but. I don't actually uh, have any concerns posting that message. Yeah, I think one is making a connection item to inform uh, the maintainers about this. Yeah, I, I would prefer to have some of the maintainers actually posting that. Uh, however, like if they do not reply, I think it's uh, uh, in the kind of benefits of the project that we reply, else uh, we can, like the community will come back and say, this is a proof that actually this is uh, not driven as a community project, but more as a kind of behind the scenes. And that's what we are accused in the message. I am I'm, I'm not pretty, uh, yeah. but, I have to, but I have to run right now, but yes, I think yeah, we, we have a meeting, but uh, Tori, what, what up? What I think from my perspective is maintainers have the visibility right now and uh, probably they will do the right thing. Um, but uh, we have to focus uh, focus on our customers and do the right thing by because we are all doing the right thing in the community and we are having open discussions here on the calls in the community meeting and probably we as uh, uh, program managers, product managers, we have to focus on our next release. A lot of work is pending. So we'll see what the maintainers will do the next step. And uh, of course, what what you have to do is, uh, you, you know, it's all what you have to do. That's that's what. Okay, uh, I understand that. Is, so yeah. uh, let's see what will happen. We can stay customer focused here, you know, and there is a... Uh, yeah, the, the thing is that uh, this may impact also <laughs> customers, right? So the right. that's that's the thing that actually this has customer impact 
and uh, I believe that we as uh, uh, kind of contributors to this project is in our interest to really uh, provide this this transparency and also response to uh, such messages in a timely manner, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, so let's. Uh, uh, you guys need to go so uh yeah. i can follow up with with you uh, on slack uh, so i'll let you go uh let me know whether you want to meet next thursday uh, i would really would like to talk about the governance a little bit more uh and how uh what are the things that we need to do there uh, to bring it on par with uh, really a graduated project with cncf uh and yeah i'll ping you on slack uh, i will not post anything before you notifying you so keep that in mind sure thank you okay thank, thank you. you very much have a nice day folks thank you. you too thanks yeah.